Hey everybody, welcome to Infinite Realms. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I can see you liking, I can see you subscribing. I appreciate it a great deal. So, um, I wasn't going to do another video today. And then two really huge things happened. Um, and I got I just got a taco about it because, you know, that's me. I got a taco about things. So, uh, first up. Well, as you know, Simon had their uh, Cyberpunk Kickstarter it kind of I mean it got funded but it dragged so what you know and they were kind of talking really jazzed up for their next one and people were guessing and guessing and nobody really knew and they dropped it and it was Dune um, and it's not a from the sounds of it it's a war game not a board game and if I had to take a wild guess it's gonna be similar to um, you know, something like a song of ice and fire um, and it sounds like it's gonna have units and everything else and they were talking about they had two factions and they'll probably have expansions and stuff like that um, but, you know all they've done is announce that the Kickstarter is gonna happen so kind of interesting um, that I think will be a test of you know what has Simon done to the community they built up because the last one, Cyberpunk, I just didn't see. I mean, I think there was just not a lot of interest in the game. There was some interest, of course. Um, but a lot of people, and I mean, I looked over it and I was like, eh, this is kind of dull. Um, and so I think this will be a test. Did the zombie side have an effect? Did the shipping issue have an effect or not? What will happen in this next one? that's gonna be interesting to see and look at because it's Dune and it's a game that to me sounds like it's pretty accessible and I mean I can see the game like that taking off so with those things in mind you gotta wonder I mean this is gonna be the test is is that zombie side thing gonna hurt them long term or is this going to turn around and then they're not going to worry about it? Um, hmm. That's a tough call. Because I don't think the cyberpunk was a good good measure. I think it was telling that it, you know, struggled so much. But I don't think it was a good measure. I, I didn't see the... main thing I took away from it is that they were just sort of like, yeah, we have this thing. Uh, we're going to put it out. I mean, they were not enthused about it. And, I, you know, I couldn't see a lot of people being enthused about it now. Their, uh, <laughs> their message boards got trolled bad. The comment section on that Kickstarter got trolled bad. And, uh, yeah, it, it got pretty intense. Uh, but, of course, when, that's what happens when you delete your Facebook posts. Uh, people are just going to go storm, find a way that you can't delete it and just storm in. And that's what they did. Um, I had some valid points. You know, I mean... And, you know, we never have gotten any idea of, you know, that Kickstarter was one of the highest funded, the zombie side one, the Marvel zombie side. It wasn't the highest, but it was one of the highest funded Kickstarters ever. And yet, I know a lot of people canceled. And I wonder what the balance out ended up being. Because I don't think we are, we're ever going to hear that. And... It could be interesting to find out, to say the least. I'd like to know. Um, if there's some way we can find out, I would really like to. But, yeah. This next Kickstarter is the one that's going to be interesting. Because I think they... I, and you know, it might have been a business thing. Maybe they were anticipating a backlash and they put in a kind of a buffer Kickstarter between these two. Just to kind of... You know, let's... Uh, Let's pad this a little bit, and that way, you know, there'll be enough time to forget about what happened. This could be the case. I don't know. I'm not going to say one way or the other. I'm just saying it's interesting. Keep watching. Watch out for Simon on a Kickstarter, and let's see what happens next. Okay, moving on. Now, the other thing that dropped today was a surprise. Uh, we have... 
Spider-Man 3-pack. I was not expecting a 3-pack. This uh, looks interesting, but this is a weird thing. The pre-order drops now. The listing says, uh, says August 1st of 2023 is when this is going to be released. That's almost a year away. It's over a year away. It's $90 a pre-order now. Um, it's... I'm confused. It's like, you're almost two years away from the movie this is based on. And you're just, in a year from now, you're going to give us the product that we asked for when the movie came out. I get not wanting to spoil the movie in your toy line. That is perfectly acceptable. I understand that. But to not have something ready when everybody knew everybody and their brother knew Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield were going to appear in this movie that seems so weird to me I don't know it's like they didn't have any thoughts about it probably until the DVD release I, this is a product for the DVD release in my opinion That that's about that time and I probably would have been on board then I look at that $89.99 tag and I'm like Ow! What the? That's thirty bucks a figure, man. And it's a—I know it's a an exclusive. I understand exclusives, and I understand they cost it. Ugh, ugh, God! This they're Hasbro's making collecting more and more difficult with these prices. It's just it's getting out of hand a little bit. Um, I mean. <laughs> I don't know. It feels like the prices have increased a whole lot in two years. And there's no justification for it. And this almost indicates there's going to be another increase, which I'm like, wait a minute. You know, what, what the hell are you doing, guys? What the hell are you doing? And as much as I don't collect Marvel Legends, I mean, which you wouldn't know it by my channel, because I'm playing catch up with my tax return is why. Um, <laughs> once I played, once I played catch up, the the Marvel Legends videos will die down a lot. So, uh, <clears throat> so yeah, I mean, I, this is like two years out. This is this is way too late. I mean, I I can't be excited for this just knowing that it's a year away and I'm not much of a, a movie uh, an MCU uh, figure guy but now the Tobey Maguire by itself would be tempting to me the uh, integrated suit I'm a little upset that they did better paint on that you know after we've, I've already bought it because I, I can't stand when Hasbro does Hasbro does this with every line they have they go and they'll release a figure and then they'll release a better paint deco a year later and you're like why, why didn't you give me that first and then put this out later but they did a better paint deco they painted the the cobwebs can't tell if uh toby's uh webs are raised kind of looks like they are but it's only a 3d render so you don't know Andrew Garfield's looks serviceable. It's okay. Um, you know, if this was sold individually, I would only get the Tobey Maguire. Maybe. Maybe. I would have to see about the raised webs. If the ra webs weren't raised, I wouldn't. No way. I mean, that's just like, that's a selling point for me with that figure. Still 90 bucks for three figures? No. I mean, the good thing is you do get, you know, the flipping hands, the punching hands, the fists and the wall crawling hands so with each one i mean that that's all right so yeah i mean that's kind of a sore one for me though it's like i'm, I'm just sitting here going what is going through hasbro's head when they do something like this this is this is a product that should have should, should already be out by now i mean this should have been a done deal so yeah anyway you know just some things i had to talk about and um you know i didn't put a lot a whole lot of visuals on this one because i was just getting the video out there so 
anyway well hope you guys have a good weekend hope you guys have a good time uh we'll see you next time on infinite realms